What's going on guys? I'm back with yet another edible review. So you guys know what it is. This is the Milk Chocolate Crisp Chocolate Bar by Faye. This is a th uh, sorry, THC infused chocolate bar. Now this bad boy right here is 20 bucks or regular price, 25 bucks. I paid it 20 on powerplanhealth.ca, link is in the description. Um, and let's, let's just get straight to the chase. Like packaging wise, you guys see the packaging. It's not not, not a bad thing. I have to scratch my nose. I don't want you guys seeing that. But, but um, it is what it is. 250 milligrams of THC. Um, I'm going to post in the comment section down below, by the way, if, like, like the, the nutrition facts of, like, an, like an, the average chocolate bar in North America to kind of compare it to, like, the calories and the fat and sugar and all that to this. For those of you guys like myself who are actually kind of interested in seeing how much more or less of each of those kind of things they have uh, going from like one one to another. So looking at the nutrition facts, as I just stated, serving size, it says, and this is, when I say serving size, it usually means, or well, it does mean the recommended portion of whatever it is you're using, and in this case, chocolate bar, um, or sorry, consuming, I meant to say. Um, so, you know, what they would recommend you take as a serving. So like, for instance, I personally would recommend no more than like two pieces for one person because I mean like after that you just really want to get fucked up, take the whole thing. But um, I think that would just be extreme overkill. So again, 25 milligrams per piece, 250 milligrams in total. Um, I would say that's a decent amount. I mean, if you're going to the OCS or whatever your province's uh, weed site is or territory, whatever, um, I think they cap it here in Ontario. It's like. 10 milligrams a piece so i mean kind of shit i know i've seen them as low as like two and a half usually with infused drinks they cap it at like two and a half to five which is really somebody can explain I, i'm sure it's like a federal mandate kind of thing with the fda but i really don't know that's the only thing i can think of maybe that's a really stupid ex idea but that's all i can think of um but nonetheless calories 501 calories total fat 25.1 grams at 39 percent daily value Saturated fat, 15.9 grams at 80%. Uh, trans fat, zero. Cholesterol, 11 milligrams, 4%. Sodium, 137 milligrams at 6%. Total carbs, 68.3 grams at 23%. Dietary fiber, there is zero. Sugars, 59.1, which should be of no surprise to anybody. Protein, 4.6 grams and then at 9%. And then calcium, 91 milligrams. Now, personally speaking, and this is really quickly, uh, also, uh, percent daily values are based on a 2,000 calorie diet, so the average North American, so, you know. Ingredients, milk chocolate. Now, that within that contains sugar, chocolate, cocoa butter, non-fat milk, and then, of course, milk fat. Um, lactose, soy, lecithin, um, natural flavors. I'm not sure what exactly that means. Um, crisp cereal, so basically... You know, Rice Krispies kind of thing. So wheat flour, sugar, wheat, malt flour. I'm not sure what the difference is between that. If any of you guys care to explain that, let me know. Salt. And then lastly, what it's infused with is premium cannabis oil. So if you guys watched the last edible review I did, literally just before this, these guys were using distillate to infuse uh, the candy. This is cannabis oil. So if you guys also, other thing, to let me know, and let all of us know, actually, not just me, is that is is distillate? Sorry, is distillate a better form of infusion, or whatever you call it, as opposed to cannabis oil? Now, I'm going to talk about my experience with this, and that may sum it up for some of you guys. But again, I want somebody to actually legitimately let me know the like the 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 black and white of hey, yeah, distillate is better, or cannabis oil is better or shatter is better i'm assuming not that i've tried and i really want to if you guys know anywhere i can buy them let me know in toronto ontario um shatter chocolate bars i've really i i've seen them for like 40 45 bucks i don't think popular house has ever sold them or at least i don't think they will anytime soon um but let me know so again it is about in terms of like the like ingredients other than the cannabis and uh, oil about average so like 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 a, like a milk chocolate crisp kind of chocolate bar uh by the way if i haven't mentioned that even though it's in the title that's what this is milk chocolate crisp flavor um 
Allergens may contain traces of soy and or milk. The production facility is not nut-free. Directions, and this is something I actually do really recommend, and or, sorry, agree with, I didn't recommend. As recommended, beginners are advised to consume no more than 10 milligrams. Wait a minimum of one hour before the edibles take effect. If effects are not noticeable, increase dosage by five milligrams at consumer's discretion. For best results, like a girl, let it melt in your mouth. Now, I personally speaking, actually fully, I guess, endorse that that uh, set of directions. I would say that's about what I would recommend like in terms of the way to consume it. It's for a beginner, that's what I would say. Now, somebody like myself that for the last few months, because I can't smoke because I have asthma now, um, I, I, I've been consuming edibles as my form of getting high. Um, it is obviously something I've built a tolerance to, right? So I can take one and a half to two pieces of this comfortably and for the most part, get on with my day. Um, and that's that. Now, normally there are some times where I'll take like a piece. Like when I first started this chocolate bar, really quickly show you guys what it looks like. Oh, this shit's gonna melt. Oh no. Fail. It melt. <laughs> it melted. No. Um, but it looked like this looks like a bag of shit now. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. But I'm high as fuck. I didn't even fucking didn't cross my mind that yeah. This would happen. <laughs> Thumbnail. Okay, so it looks like a fucking chocolate bar. I'm gonna have to put this in my freezer or some shit. Oh man. Um, I was kind of hoping to make infused cookies, but I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. I don't know, but uh, nonetheless, um, taste wise, I mean, it t sorry guys, it does obviously taste like chocolate. You don't taste weed. That's that's one thing. I've heard some people say when they try edibles, they have like a weed taste to it. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean because I've never tasted weed in any edibles and I've tried quite a few different types of edibles, um, both legal and street. So take that as you will. Um, that being said, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a nice taste. It's, it tastes like chocolate. I do believe they also have a strawberry something, uh, flavor, and then a, I, I, there's two other flavors. I don't know what the third one is, so. But uh, again, these will be linked down below in the description. I would say, like, it takes me usually, like, when I take one piece, uh, it takes me about an hour and a half to two hours for it to really start to kick in to where I feel it. So it really, it's a given, though. So, like, lately, I guess because my tolerance is a little bit lower uh, or higher, I'm not really sure. Um, so it takes a little bit less time for it to, for me to start feeling it now, but I think that's because, like, I'm, like, fucking two-thirds of the chocolate bar in. Um, and I've had this for about a month, so, I mean, I, I would say, given the tolerance to it now, it's it's good. I, I actually really like this and um, would fully recommend it as a gift, especially. I mean, if you if you have a friend that fucks with, with edibles, you know, and there's people out there that like weed, but just don't really like the smoking aspect of it, so they may not smoke frequently, but they really, f I know a few people that are like that, that fuck with edibles heavily, like on the daily, like the way that I would fuck with like joints and shit, like three times a day, people fuck heavy with edibles, man, so that that's that, you know, but um, out of 10, what do I rate these? High-wise, I mean, this is something that I would really say is a game changer in my opinion. Um, the first three pieces, one piece each, got me just fucking zooted. Like, now, like I guess I can take two pieces to get to that, that kind of experience. Um, at 25 bucks for a chocolate bar, I mean, it's not a bad deal. I paid it 20 because it was on sale. But that being said, it's not a bad deal either which way. I mean, even if this was a $50 chocolate bar, admittedly, I still would not mind. I mean, I, I'm being dead honest. I would still see the value in this because it's something, you know, it takes a little bit longer than the average uh, edible, at least for me. Now, again, granted, it's going to vary based off from person to person, um, kind of like with alcohol. You know, some people have a higher tolerance. Some people have a lower tolerance. Some people, it takes a little bit more alcohol in their system to get them fucked up. Some people, it takes less. So that being said, take this. Uh, you know, your own discretion, as they said as well. Um, and that's pretty much that. If there's anything I forgot to mention that you guys point out, let me know in the comments and I'll pin it and answer it directly. And um, I mean, out of 10 men, do I recommend this? Hell fucking yeah. 10 out of 10. This is a certified fucking banger of an edible, certified banger of a chocolate bar, at, at, at least, you know? So if you guys have any questions, let your boy know down below in the comments. 
And uh, until next time, deuces. Also, 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 by the way, I'm not sure if you guys watched one of my last videos. I'm going weed. Now, I've recently transferred these into these biodegradable cups because they're starting to grow. And the one plant's uh, roots were pushing out of the, the green cup that I originally had these in. So I've moved them into this. This is the one that it, it, it's fucking pushing out of the dirt. So repotted them and I have them here in the smoke mobile. So or the hoots mobile. So uh, gang deuces. <laughs>